I have to make a histogram. That sounds easy. I think we made some in second grade. That was probably a bar graph. Are they not the same thing? Both have bars that you graph. Yes, they both have bars. But a bar graph is used for discrete data like rolling a dice or counting how many students had their homework completed each day. So I would use the histogram for continuous data I suppose. Exactly. Since the data is continuous you would not have gaps between the bars. The bars would touch. Exactly. The bars would touch. But unlike a histogram, you have to decide how much data each bar covers. What would you call that? Bin size. The trick to a histogram is to determine the right bin size so that the resulting graph is meaningful. Sounds tricky. And like a lot of work. Yes it can be tricky. If the bin size is too large there are too few bars and the chart does not tell you very much. What if the bin size is small? Then you have too many bars and it is hard to make conclusions about the data. I think I would like a calculator. That is not necessary, but using software to experiment with bin size will certainly help you decide what is the best to have a meaningful histogram. Yes, since the bars are touching I will have to think harder about this than a bar graph. Thank you.